It's live with Regis. Today, he was kicked off the island last night, and today he's live in our studio. It's Jervis from Survivor. And one of the hottest singers around, Leanne Rhines. Plus, Claudia Cohen with the latest on the wedding of Brad Pitt and Jennifer Aniston. All next on Live. Philbin and Marianne Curran. Hi, it's uh, Thursday, August 3rd, 2000. No, the sun isn't shining yet. Still cloudy, overcast, gloomy here in New York. About seven days in a row now of this stuff, but lightening up for the weekend. I thought I could bring some of that L.A. sunshine with me. Who is this? <laughs> just walks in and sits down now. They don't even introduce themselves. They just come in and sit down and start talking. I have a habit of doing that. This is Mary Ann Coran from Los Angeles, everybody, our co-host for the next few days. Marianne Coran is our uh, co-host today and tomorrow, and in between when we go to commercial breaks, uh, spending a lot of time with Gelman. <laughs> Uh-oh. A lot of whispering, a lot of chuckling. Yeah, I'm working on it. I overheard, the scenes. Heard, overheard somebody say Regis is a dork. You know, I mean, to hear things like that. You weren't supposed to hear that. Yeah, yeah, very comfortable. You're All still right. upset about that sign. Yes! <laughs> I came out and the little girl Regis had... Regis is number Love one. you, Regis! Jervis came out, love you, Jervis! <laughs> Got a sign for Leanne Reams because she's coming out right now. <laughs> Dido, Dido, Reams, Rhymes. Regis, it rhymes with rhymes. There you go. All right. I, I won't forget it. Yeah, she's making her feature film debut in tomorrow's release of Coyote Ugly. We had the star, one of the stars of the show on okay. yesterday, learned a lot about it. But now this is Leanne Rhymes' turn. It's her incredible singing, and she's best known for, of course, but now on the screen for the first time. Here she is, Leanne Rhymes. <laughs> Yes, I mean, oh boy, I got my name kicked around a Thank lot. Thank you so much. Are you sure you want to work with this guy? Uh, <laughs> let's see, Miss Kitty's what? Miss Kitty's... Pussycat Lounge. Pussycat Lounge. Did anybody tell her it was a morning show? <laughs> <laughs> no, but, hello. I mean, that can be used that way. It's a good shirt. It's yes, cute. it is. It's, it's very, very nice. cute. Thank, Thank you. I didn't mean it in that way. <laughs> now you got Leanne upset. <laughs> see what you've done? Say my own name. I mean... I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm kidding. I'm playing with you. Nice to have you here. Thank you very much. Are you excited about your feature film debut? Well, yeah, I mean, it's, it's kind of my feature film debut. I didn't act, really, because I played myself at the end of the film. Okay. So, but it was, I mean, I, it was my feature film debut, I guess. But you're in the movie. Film. Yes, I'm in the movie. So, what do you do? Just wander into this bar? Is that what happened? <laughs> no, basically what happens is uh, Piper Perabo, who's the lead actress, is an aspiring singer-songwriter. And um, I end up recording one of her songs at the end of the movie. And um, so I'm the big star. She gets to record one of her songs. So uh, I end up doing the, they throw a CD release party for me at the end of the movie. And I get up on the bar and sing with other girls. So it was a lot of fun. I had a good time. And, and was your voice also used in the song, uh, in the uh, film as well? Well, I did four songs for the, uh, the soundtrack. And then the, um, I did the voice of uh, Violet, who is the lead character in the film. I mm -hmm. did her singing voice. So I had to switch my voice to not sound like me. Oh, really? Ooh, yes. How hard was that to do? Um, it was, you know, it was, it was kind of interesting because living with my voice for almost 18 years now, it was hard to, like, switch it around and not sound like myself. Mm -hmm. But um, I just, I, it was a lot of acting for me, too, because I had to draw from her emotion on, on, you know, camera and what she was doing on film and uh, portray that in my voice, so... Now, it's did they lay your soundtrack down first? No. I just got involved in the movie about six Very weeks ago. Very near the end, right. <laughs> no yeah. Kidding. Yeah, so they had done the whole film, and then I had and to go had back in. watch her right. sing and, and sing over exactly. that. Exactly. Wow. That has to be tricky. It was fun, though. Yeah. It was really interesting. You want to be an actress now, right? I'd love to. She does it all, this kid. She's yeah. amazing. Yeah. She I really did some stage acting when I was younger, so I'd love to incorporate mm -hmm. that back in. Yeah, day. your career really began when you were like two years old. Yes. Started singing then? When I popped out, basically. 
<laughs> my dad has tapes me singing on stage when I was, oh, I was singing with him playing the guitar when I was 18 months old. Mm. And oh then I started on stage when I was five. Five entering a song and dance competition? Yes. That's when you knew this is what you wanted to do, yep, right? I did. I don't remember knowing, but like I've always, this is what I've always loved. Music's been a huge part of my life. And then that Star Search show that spawned so much talent. Won it talent. over and over again, right? At, at, and how old were you when that happened? I was eight. Eight years old. <laughs> what were yeah. you doing when you were eight years old? I mean, think about it. <laughs> yeah. So and you got a, a record fantastic. deal when you were not even in your teens, right? Um, I, yeah, I was 12 when I got my record deal. Wow. So. wow. It's all happened pretty quickly. It How old are you now? Quickly. I'm almost 18 in a few days. Yeah. I'm Happy so birthday. excited. Thank you. What are you going to do on your birthday? You know what? I, I have no plans right now. I'm, I'm letting my friends plan it for me. I just, I'm, this is the first time I've really been off the road. So it's gonna be nice to be with my friends. Your touring schedule blows it's, my mind. Yeah, it really is oh. exceptional. It was insane. We did that uh, th for three and a half years. I think we did somewhere around 567 shows. So it was crazy. I'm so did happy to be Did you learn a lesson from that? Are you cutting it back oh, this time? Oh, yes, very much so. I had a good time though. I, I learned, you know, I learned a lot. I really did. Well, when you're on tour like that, it's difficult to, to go to school and get an education, mm -hmm. isn't it? So how did you handle that? I've been homeschooling ever since sixth grade. And right? um, yeah, it was, it, it's, been, it's been nice because it's been able to it allows me to kind of vary my schedule. And, and you recently helps. had a cancel tour because you had some vocal problems, Yes, right? I did. I have a swollen right vocal cord right now, and I've had mono for like the past year. Oh, my goodness. I know, and I've been working, so I feel I'm getting better. I'm on the uphill side, and I did have to cancel my tour. I apologize to all my fans because they were, they've been so wonderful. You'll be back. Yeah, I will. We're going to do the world tour next year after the album. World tour, huh? World tour. Ooh. The big world tour. You got a wow. uh, boyfriend, or are you like her? Um, <laughs> yes, I do, have, I do have someone I've been seeing for a while. Uh -huh. I keep it quiet, though. Do you? Yeah, I'm not so. So we shouldn't, we shouldn't talk <laughs> no, about him? No. We'll leave him alone. You're going to leave him alone? No, it's, 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 you know, it's one part of my life I always like to keep private. Good Why for not? you. Sure. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, so now you're working on the new album that's due out, what, early next year? Yeah, probably around February, March of next year. So More I'm, of the same country? Um, it's, it's a very Leanne sound of Leanne now at 18, not at, not at 13. It, it, my... My whole, I guess, I, me as a person has evolved, and so is my music and my taste in music. And I'm writing about 90% in the next album and co-producing it. So I'm getting very, very involved in the oh, whole process. Oh, all of this. I'm excited. And still not 18 years old. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Yeah. And the one thing that I, I cannot believe is you actually did an album at what, age 15, called The Early Years? <laughs> 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 yes, you know, that was actually previous recorded, previous recorded music that I did um, when I was like 11. So they released, I know, when I was 11, they released, um, re-released it. Um, and there's one more yet to come out. It's going to be called Leanne Rhymes, The Unborn Years. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to sing for us when we come back, and we'll be right back. Thank you. Tomorrow on Live from ESPN Sports Center, Dan Patrick. I just wonder what's going on through Marianne Curran's head here. Here she is in New York on this big time show, and she had better lighting and, uh, you know, all the stuff going on on her own little cable show. <laughs> Gelman's holding a flashlight there, if you can believe this. <laughs> anyway, here comes Leanne Rhymes. Now, you know, she appears and sings in Coyote Ugly, which opens tomorrow. And now she's going to sing the first cut off the movie soundtrack. Here she is with Can't Fight the Moonlight, Leanne Rhymes. <laughs>
tomorrow. Thanks, Leanne. Thanks very much. Happy birthday. Thank you, Adele. Nice Cohen, you. coming on next. We'll be right back. You sounded great. And you were Monday on Live, actress Leah Thompson co-hosts with Regis.